In this video, I will show you how to use the Spark email app. So in order to start using the Spark email app, which is basically just a upgraded version of your usual inbox from Gmail or Outlook or wherever you're currently looking at your emails. But in order to start using it, just gonna click on free download on the sparkmailapp.com website. They have over 150,000 reviews and it's a pretty popular app. So you can use it on your phone or on your desktop or laptop, wherever you want to use it on. Now, once you click on free download, the download will start automatically and it will just recognize the device that you are using. So you don't have to pick your device. So in the top right, you can see it's downloading right now and just wait for it to finish. And then once it's finished, what you want to go and do is click on the file right here. Then from here, just drag in the app into your applications. Then click on your launchpad if you're using a Mac and then it will show up right here. So go ahead and open it up. So then if you're using a Mac, it will say Spark Desktop is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Simply click open. And now for me, it signs me into my account automatically, but I'll just go ahead and sign out to show you how this works. So you will see this here, simply enter your email or you can continue with Google, which is what I'll do. So then it will verify your account. So now go and click next and you will get access to Spark Premium for free for seven days. So you can actually try out the AI and all of the other premium features for seven days and you won't be built automatically and you won't have to add any payment details. Simply click start using Spark right there. Now from here, I'll just make it full screen and we can now click got it. Now here you should see your entire inbox. Now you will see here we have two categories. We have notifications and your newsletters right here. So the newsletters, for example, are just general emails that are being sent to a lot of people. Now, one really quick feature that you can do is in the top left, you can click done all, and then all of them will be moved to your archive. And that way, if you don't want to have your newsletters in your inbox, then now they will just be archived. Now, if it's the same for your notifications, for example, a notification such as a confirmation code or something like that, then you can also click done all right here. You can also mark today as done or a specific email, but I'll just do all of them right there. And now you will see that they are all gone from here. Now, if I would like to still see those emails, I can click on the check in the top right and toggle it on. And then I can still see it right here, but I'll just close it. Now, once you are in the free premium plan, so the free trial and you click on home, you can then click on compose in the top right. Now from here, you can actually click enable Spark plus AI, and then you can start using AI to write your emails. Now it will actually analyze all of your sent emails and from those emails, it will analyze your writing style. So now here you can write what you want to write with AI. And then you can click on send and then it will actually generate that with AI based on how you usually write your emails. Now for me, it is in Dutch right here since most of my emails are sent in Dutch. But for example, if I want it to be in English, I can click rephrase and then here I can say make it English. And now it will translate it into English. Now here it says send with Spark. You can simply remove that by clicking on that right there and then it's gone. Now here you can add the subject for your email. You can choose who you want to send it to. Then you can add an attachment. You can set up a reminder if you need to do that for a follow up, for example, and you can send it later or you can just click on send in the top right to send it right now. Now from the home screen right here, you will see something that is pretty nice. They will say we suggest checking your inbox at this time. So for me right now it's 6 p.m. So that means that usually at 6 p.m. all my emails for the day will be in. And that's probably for me then the best time to actually check my email inbox. Now you can also search your entire inbox for any kind of keyword or a sender by clicking on the search icon right there. And then you can just search for something, for example, to type hi. And you will see every single email here that says hi. Now they also have a bunch of integrations. If you want to check those out, just click on your icon in the bottom left. From here, you can go and click on integrations and it integrates with all of these tools, for example, Asana, Evernote, and a couple more. So if you use any of these ones right here, then it's very easy to integrate. For example, if you use TickTick, you can turn emails into tasks right from the app, same with Asana and a bunch of these other ones. Now you have a lot more right here. For example, you can set it to dark mode. You can set your Spark AI settings. Here in general, 
you can choose to launch at startup. In your accounts, you can add a shared account with your team if you want to do that. And from here, you can just manage your entire Spark account. So now you know how you can use the Spark email app. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.